Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are united as God's family to celebrate this Eucharist and to receive Jesus, even spiritually, and from Him receive strength, healing, life, and salvation. Let us now prepare ourselves to unite our hearts with Jesus. Let us be sorry for the sins we have committed, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. I confess to, to Almighty God, and to, to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked in there at his head was a hard cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard. From all his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting and reviling must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God, as beloved children, and live in love, as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us, as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from Him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue to hear the discourse of Jesus about himself as the bread of life. It started two weeks ago when we heard the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fish. And then last week, the people looked for Jesus. And Jesus told them, Are you looking for me simply because you had free food? Do not look for me only because of the miracle. Look for me because I am the bread of life. 
I am the bread that came down from heaven. And in our gospel today, after hearing those words from Jesus, our gospel this Sunday started with these words. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. Nagbulung-bulungan ang mga Hudyo dahil hindi sila makapaniwala sa sinabi ni Jesus. How can this man say that he came down from heaven? We know who he is. We know his father and his mother. How can he come down from heaven? And they murmured among themselves because of disbelief, because they could not believe in Jesus. Nagbulong-bulungan ang mga Hudyo dahil hindi sila makapaniwala kay Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, like the Jews, don't we also love murmuring? Hindi ba't mahilig din tayong makipagbulong-bulungan? And there are many reasons why we murmur among ourselves. If we do not believe a person like the Jews, if we doubt a person, we usually murmur among ourselves. Kapag may pagdududa, kapag hindi tayo makapaniwala sa isang tao, nagbubulong-bulungan tayo. Sino ba yan? Bakit ba ganyang magsalita yan? Ikilala naman natin siya. Akala mo kung sino nagbubulong-bulungan. Kapag masama ang ating loob, hindi ba't bubulong-bulong din tayo? At yung pagbulong natin, minsan may kasama pang pagdarabog, utos ng utos. Akala mo, hindi ako napapagod. Ang dami namang pinagagawa sa akin. Ako na naman ang nakita. Ako na naman ang may kasalanan. Bulong ng bulong kapag masama ang loob. If we are planning something that is evil, Pag nagpaplano ng masama, kapag may sikretong binabalak, kapag may mga bagay na ayaw nating malaman ng iba, hindi naman natin yan pinagsisigawan. Kapag may masama tayong gagawin, binubulong-bulong natin. Tayo lang ang makakaalam nito. Huwag nating ipagsasabi sa iba. Baka mahuli tayo. At ang pinakamasarap na bulong-bulungan sa lahat, chismisan. Kapag pinag-uusapan ng buhay ng ibang tao, binubulong-bulong natin. Meron akong bagong nalaman tungkol sa kapitbahay natin. Meron akong chismis tungkol dyan sa taong yan. Bubulong-bulong. My dear brothers and sisters, let us admit it, we enjoy murmuring. But let us check, what are we murmuring about? Especially in this time of difficulty, I'm sure many of us are murmuring about the hardships and sufferings that we all experience. Marami tayong inirereklamo, marami din tayong ibinubulong-bulong. Lockdown na naman. Ang dami namang restrictions. Bubulong-bulong. Tingnan natin, ano ba yung pinagbubulong-bulungan natin? Tungkol ba saan ang ating mga ibinubulong-bulong? If what we are murmuring about is something that is bad, if what we are murmuring about hurts other people, if our murmuring destroys our relationship, our family, our society, and even the church, then Jesus tells us today, stop your murmuring.
itigil nyo ang pagbubulong-bulungan na iyan. Dahil ang pagbubulong-bulungan ng masama, maaaring makasakit sa kapwa, maaaring makasira sa ating ugnayan sa isa't isa. Kapag alam mong pinagbubulong-bulungan ka ng ibang tao, hindi ba nasasaktan ka? Kapag sa isang pamilya, sa isang grupo, sa magkakaibigan, sa lipunan, at kahit na nga sa simbahan, nagbubulong-bulungan, nagchichismisan tungkol sa kanilang kapwa, nakakasira yan. Kaya ang sabi ni Jesus sa mga hudyong nagbubulong-bulungan, na sinasabi rin sa atin ngayon, itigil ninyo ang pagbubulong-bulungan na iyan. And St. Paul, in our second reading today, tells the Ephesians, Remove all bitterness, all fury, all anger, all shouting and reviling. Alisin ninyo ang mga masasamang bagay na iyan, ang puot, ang galit, ang sama ng loob, ang sigawan, ang pagbubulyawan, ang masasakit na mga salita, ang mga panlalait. We have to remove this because either they are the reasons why we are murmuring or they are fruits of our murmuring. Kapag ikaw ang pinag-uusapan, nagagalit ka, sumasama ang loob mo. Kapag ikaw ay pinagbubulong-bulungan, nagkakaroon ng puot. Kaya alisin ang mga bagay na ito, sabi ni San Pablo, dahil paaring dahil sa galit, kaya tayo nagbubulong-bulungan. O maaari ito naman ang nagiging bunga sa atin, galit dahil sa pagbubulong-bulungan ng ibang mga tao tungkol sa atin. Remove all this. Stop murmuring. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, not all murmuring is bad. In our first reading today, the prophet Elijah also murmured to God. He was in fact complaining to God. And he was complaining because he was so tired. He felt taken for granted. He felt abandoned by God. God chose the prophet, God chose Elijah to become a prophet. And Elijah obeyed. Sumunod naman siya sa Panginoon. He proclaimed God's word to the people, even to the queen Jezebel. But because of what he did, of what he proclaimed, because he prophesied for God, then the queen ran after his neck. The queen ordered his death. Dahil sa kanyang mga sinabi na pagsunod lamang naman sa Diyos, ipinapapatay siya. Kaya tumakbo siya at nagtago. And there, he murmured to God, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life. I want to die. Mabuti nang mamatay pa ako kaysa ganito naman ang pinagdaraanan ko. The beauty in what the prophet Elijah did is that when he murmured, he did not broadcast it to everyone. Hindi niya ipinagsabi sa maraming tao yung reklamo niya sa Diyos. Ni hindi nga niya sinabi kahit kanino. When he murmured, he went to the mountain of God and murmured in the presence of God. And his murmuring became a prayer to God. And God heard his prayer. 
What did God do? God sent an angel to feed him, to give him drink. He saw a hearth cake and a jug of water there. God strengthened him. And because of the food and drink that God gave him, he was able to walk 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God. The murmuring of the prophet Elijah is a form of prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not be like the Jews who murmured because of disbelief. Let us instead be like Elijah. If we want to complain, let us complain first to God. If we want to murmur, let us murmur in the presence of God. Kapag merong reklamo, kapag meron tayong gustong pagbulong-bulungan, huwag kong kanikanino. Ni huwag i-broadcast sa social media. Huwag mag-aaway sa social media. Huwag ding mag misan sa social media. Hindi yan makakristyano. Kung meron kang gustong isumbong, kung meron kang gustong ireklamo, kung meron kang gustong ikwento at ichismis, go to the presence of God and before God, complain, murmur, say your problems, tell your stories, and your murmuring will become a sincere and sweet prayer coming from a humble and honest heart. My dear brothers and sisters, if our murmuring hurts other people, destroys other people, relationships, our families and society, then Jesus tells us today, stop that murmuring. But if our murmuring is a form of prayer, then we are sure that kind of murmuring pleases God. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. We are about to offer and receive Christ our Lord, that living bread which comes down from heaven. As the Father draws us to His Son, let us pray with concern for the needs of others. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Eucharistic Church may express its communion with Christ by a constant ministry of charity and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Land Bank, with its board, management, and all personnel, may continue to thrive as an institution committed to serving the nation and bringing opportunities for the development of our country. 
our farmers and fishers, the workers and laborers, the small business owners, and the other movers of the economy, as well as the underserved and marginalized sectors, especially during these trying times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That our country, the Filipino people, be protected with God's love and mercy as we continue to fight this battle against COVID-19. May we be responsible members of the community and acknowledge that each of us plays a role in shielding our fellow men against the threat of the virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the government may be granted with wisdom, strength, and the heart of service. May it continue to work for the welfare of the Philippines and our people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer that the faithful departed who received the bread of life may live forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, we believe in you and in your Son, our Eucharist. Grant the petitions of this community through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your Church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered and by your power, you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, <clears throat> all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa ating pagdiriwang ngayon. Lahat po kayo na kasama natin sa live streaming ng misang ito. We wish also to thank our brothers and sisters from other countries who are joining our celebration today from the Manila Cathedral and for being part of the online community of the Manila Cathedral. We thank all of you for your continued support, for your donations and your love offerings that you send us for our mission. We also wish to thank the different social media platforms sharing this Holy Mass. And in a special way, we thank the board, the management, and the personnel of, Land Bank, of the Land Bank of the Philippines for joining our celebration this morning. We greet you a happy 58th anniversary and we pray that you may become faithful stewards of our people, that through your efficiency, your professionalism, through your honesty and integrity, you may always be of service to our people, especially those who are poor and those who are in need in this time of pandemic. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa pagdiriwang na ito. And may God bless this new week. May God give us many opportunities to be in His presence, to murmur in His presence in honesty and in love, to pray and to be one with Him so that we may be strengthened by Him. Sa ating pananalangin, sa ating pakikipagkaisa kay Jesus, alam natin pinalalakas tayo ni Jesus Iniingatan tayo ni Jesus, pinagagaling tayo ni Jesus at binibigyan tayo ng lakas ng loob para magpatuloy sa kabila ng lahat ng ating pinagdaraanan ngayon. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps toward Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Yours, we give ourselves.